So let's say you want to delete this clip, but you don't want the magnetic timeline to compress. All you have to do is hit shift delete and that clip will be replaced by a gap clip. Okay. If a clip is connected to a clip and you try to move it, that connected clip is going to go with it. Press and hold the grav key. Move the clip to where you want to go. The clip that's above it stays in place. Okay. This clip that's above the primary storyline has a connection point to this clip below. Well, what if you want to move that connection point? Hover our cursor, hit command, option, click, and you can see that connection point moves. Okay. And let's say you have all of your B-roll up here in the browser, but you don't know which portions of which clips you you've used, go up to the view menu, click on browser, you'll see used media ranges. The second you select it, your clips show these orange bars where it shows what portion of the clips were used in your timeline. But what if you want to copy a clip but put it above the primary storyline when you paste it? All you have to do is hit option V and it'll paste it above the primary storyline. Let's say you're really zoomed in on your timeline and you want to get a bird's eye view of your entire timeline, just hit shift Z and Final Cut will automatically back out your timeline so you can see the whole thing in your timeline viewer.